What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lonnie from Flight Sim Gaming. Today is uh, the giveaway day. We are giving away that Sim Market gift voucher, courtesy of myself, for everybody or anybody that is helping to support my channel. Um, we are giving away the 25 euro Sim Market gift voucher. All you had to do was in the last video I had posted, you had to drop a comment down below Before and be starting. subscribed to the channel to enter yourself into the giveaway. Um, for the person that wins the giveaway, all I ask is I would need you to snap a photo or a picture of your YouTube dashboard just so I know that uh, you are the, uh, the sole owner of the account. I, I, you know, sometimes people will contact me and it's not actually them. Uh, that's just the way that I kind of need um, just to verify that you are the actual winner. What we'll do is uh, we're going to get this aircraft loaded up. Uh, I have GSX kind of loading up right now at the moment. The aircraft has not been turned on, but we'll load up the aircraft and then we'll go ahead and we'll pick a winner from one of the comments in the last video that I had posted. It is uh, giveaway number two on the channel. You know, um, it was the, the 50 sub milestone. Um, 50 subs doesn't sound like a lot, but to me that was a milestone. And we're giving away... Uh, this gift voucher for hitting the 50 subs. We will be doing another giveaway. Currently, we're at 74 subs on the channel, and I'm just going to announce now, when we hit 100 subs, we're going to go ahead and do another giveaway. So, um, keep on rolling here. If uh, the person that wins the giveaway is an Xbox flight simmer, obviously, we cannot use a Sim Market gift voucher for Xbox. So, what we'll do is just let me know if it's for PC or Xbox, and I'll see what I can do to, to, to get you a some type of Xbox. Uh, I got to see what's out there for Xbox. I'm not sure, but we'll get you something for Xbox. Uh, maybe a gift voucher from them for Flight Sim. I'll have to look into see how that kind of works. But anyway, let's get this aircraft rocking and rolling. Uh, once again, con um, congratulations to whoever wins. And once again, thank you for supporting the channel. We are flying in the Phoenix A320 today. We are heading from, we're at Chicago Midway. Um, and we're heading down to... Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, it's a nice short flight. It is a real world flight. I don't think it's flown in the A320. I think it's an A319, but whatever. We have an A320. Phoenix A320. It's a beautiful aircraft to fly. I love this livery. Um, it is a short flight. It's only about an hour or so, so it shouldn't take uh, you know too long to get up there. It is uh, early morning, or I should say maybe late morning here in Chicago. It's around, I think, 9.45 a.m. It's looking a little dark. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start the aircraft, and uh, we'll, we'll get things rocking and rolling. Come up to the top here. External power will be go on. We'll go on. Battery 1 and 2, we're going to switch on. APU master switch comes to the on position. We'll go ahead and we'll start it. Nav and logo lights, strobe lights, crew supply. The deers will go to the nav position. Emergency exit lights, no smoking, and seatbelt lights will be turned on. Awesome. Um, this scenery, Chicago Midway, was done, I believe, by Derziki Design. You can find his stuff at Sim Market. The Omaha Airport, I believe, um, shit, I forgot who it is. I forgot who the devs are. I'll have to put the link in the description for that. I think it's Vertical Sim. Vertical Sim, currently, as of today, March 10th, they do have a, it's a massive sale by them. All their product, I believe, is 30 or 40% off. Which is pretty cool so you can catch their stuff there i have already flown into the airport uh performance is really great there mind you i don't know how many flights we'll be doing into omaha but for this flight we're flying out of chicago midway it is a flight that happens pretty often um the call sign is united airlines 2625 it is a real world flight you'll also see if you if anybody here f tracks any flights of any of the flight numbers I posted in any of these videos. Uh, this specific flight actually, you know, it flies, I believe, from Denver to Omaha and back as well. So they do use this this flight number for, you know, coming flying from Chicago to Omaha as well as from Denver to Omaha. In case you guys are wondering. Anyway, enough chatting here. Let's go ahead and we'll load up Sim Brief here. Uh, a couple things I got to do. This is a new livery for this aircraft. Um, so I got to make sure my units are set to kilograms. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. And... The barrel control, we're going to make sure we link that and save that. And this obviously went back to Kilo. Let's try that again. I'm going to have to reload Sim Brief.
and it stayed awesome. Come over the mass and balance tab. We should be able to load the aircraft, which we can. We're going to load it instantly because we are loading through GSX. Um, as you can see, performance is not so great. It is a Derziki design airport. I believe when I installed the airport, I had removed static aircraft and, and all that kind of shit, but we're still getting about, as I look at the McDo, I'm getting about 47 FPS, but panning around is where we lose some performance. <clears throat> Excuse me, anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll flight in it. Hope everybody's day is going well. I know mine is. Um, I apologize for posting the video a little bit too late in the week. I don't have a community tab available yet on YouTube. So I cannot communicate, you know, other than through video, uh, videos that I post to the channel about, um, you know, some of these giveaways. So I do apologize. I think the last video I posted was probably about uh, maybe five or six days ago or so. Um, so I do apologize. This video will post the next morning after recording. Um, anyway, cost index uh, is 22, and we're cruising up to 34,000 feet on today's short flight to Omaha. Come over to the IRS. We're going to align it. That's great. Come over, to the, come over to the fuel and weight tab. We have zero fuel weight of 60.8, 31.2. What we got in there? Block fuel, 6.6. .6. We'll put 6.7. That's great. Come over to the flight plan page. Let's have a look here. We do not have a departure set, but I have flown out of this airport a few times. We're going to go ahead and do the, the scissor two departure. I think that's scissor two. I'm not too sure. We are expecting ILS 14 right in Omaha, and it is the Lant Hilo 2. My apologies. ILS 14 left. Let's go ahead and redo that. Temporary erase. Coma. Arrival. ILS 14 right. And this arrival into Omaha. And Trans, I believe, is going to be Delta Sierra Mike. We'll insert that. Have a look for any discons. Go ahead and we'll Clear some of that. That's perfect. Come over to the performance tab here. And we'll plug some stuff in here. Doesn't look wet outside. We are expecting runway 04 right. We'll go ahead and we'll sync that. We're going to go for a flaps 1 departure. Sync weather. I'll timber 3005. Plug that in there. 3005, 129, 140, 140. Not a heavy aircraft. Transalt here in Chicago is 18,000. It's a flaps one with a flex to temp of 56. That's perfect. We're gonna go ahead and set our cruising altitude. We're gonna shoot right up to 34,000. I believe on this departure, uh, we are to climb and maintain 3,000. But, uh, Keep it like that. Plug all that stuff in here. We'll come back up here. We'll turn on the fuel pumps. And we are going to start the AP. That is looking fantastic. We'll go ahead and we'll open up our Navigraph charts here. Let's have a look at some things here. Um, most importantly, we'll have a look at the weather. The weather in Chicago, it's the winds are 340 at 12 knots, visibility is 9, it is overcast, there's some clouds as you can see outside, temperature 3 degrees, altimeter 3005, that is great. Our departure, we're on the Cicero, so a Cicero 2 departure. Uh, runway heading, and we're going to go ahead and make a right turn, heading 100, and top altitude is 3000, but basically we'll vector ourselves to our waypoint. So we're going to do a big loop around. Should be fun. We are at stand Bravo 12. This is where this aircraft departed from. As a matter of fact, in Omaha, it actually arrived at Bravo 12, at the Bravo gates there in Omaha. So we'll see if we'll get those gates. Should be good. 
while the aircraft is doing aircraft things. I believe boarding is completed, as a matter of fact. What we can do is we will uh, we will go ahead and pick our winner. We just open up OBS here, put our window capture in there. So as you can see, YouTube random comment picker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the link from the YouTube video. This was the video that you guys had to comment on. We'll paste that in there. It's going to generate all of the comments. 11 comments. And we'll pick a winner and we'll see who wins the second giveaway on the channel. Good luck to all. Marcus, nice video. Always nice to see my virtual airline in winter operations. Marcus, congratulations on winning that Sim Market gift voucher. You are the second winner on the channel. All I need you to do, Marcus, is I need you to snap a picture of your YouTube dashboard. Um, you're going to have to contact me via email. My Gmail account is, sorry, my Gmail is linked in on my YouTube homepage. Go ahead, shoot me an email. I just need, uh, like I said, the photo of your YouTube dashboard just to verify that it's your account. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll send you off that gift voucher. Everything will be done through email. It is legit. Don't worry. The last giveaway was very successful. Interesting story was the first giveaway winner and that transition you know of, of him reaching out to me and sending the gift voucher was very smooth now i just want to explain if i don't respond right away um that's okay i will get back to you i should get back to you within at least 24 hours um of you contacting me so look out for an email from me i'll be looking out for an email from you marcus uh, we we do expect you to reach out within a certain time you know we do want all of our winners to receive their uh, giveaways as soon as possible so there is a time window that i need you to reach out to me by if i don't hear from you within 24 hours after the video is posted um i'm gonna have to re-roll the giveaway so um please reach out to me as soon as possible congratulations again marcus i'm gonna go ahead and try to pronounce your last name walhoof walhoof not too sure i'm not too sure the nationality on that but anyway thanks again Appreciate the love and support from everybody. Um, more giveaways will be coming on the channel, as you you know, as I said in the in the earlier part of this video. Hundred subs, you know, we're almost there. We're at seventy four subs currently. Hundred subs, we're giving away another gift voucher. You know, we try to do weekly stuff here on this channel, and um, you know, we just like to kind of get back to everybody. Um, the channel is moving in a, in a, in a in an upwards direction. I'm very proud and happy with how things have been kind of rolling um and this is just a small little thing for you guys i appreciate uh all the love and support appreciate all the feedback all the comments so this is just a small little token of appreciation you know what i mean anyway enough ranting and raving congratulations marcus looking forward to hearing from you and uh let's go ahead and we're going to request pushback and let's get on out of here no ice treatment Icing conditions. Please stand by until push is completed and breaks are set. You can light will come on. Perfect. We are ready to push back. I think uh, GSX is cutting out there. Also, I just want to note um, for all of you who are part of the flight sim community, as as most of you may or may not know, Matt Davies has passed away. Uh, I personally didn't watch too much of his stuff, but you know, the odd time I, you know, catch him on Twitch, and I do know, you know, it, it, he is I would say the one of the first successful flight simmers. Um, that we've ever had create content for us and don't know how he passed but you know my heart goes out to his family you know he's up there flying high soaring high now you know i hope uh you know i wish uh i wish his family the deepest condolences and um again matt davies rest in peace you are a legend 
push back direction. We are going to go nose left and tail right. We got to come back in here. I don't know why. I always thought that GSX uh, removes all this shit from us. Here. So we're going to be pushing back here. I believe this is uh, Tangle 1. We're going to go Tangle probably to Yankee, I think. Um, Tangle Yankee, and then we'll go Yankee to Victor onto the runway. Pretty straightforward. Nose is coming up. Release parking brake. There we go. Engine start switch to the start position. Engine number two. Not sure what's going on with GSX. I'll have to see if there's an update for that. But anyway. Number one. We will just confirm the engine start. No sense in uh, waiting for all this. good engines perfect come back up top here wing lights will go on taxi light will go on apu bleed comes off apu master switch comes off auto brake is going to the max position we are going flaps one ground spoilers are armed um takeoff configure should be i guess the flaps weren't fully out yet no problem takeoff config is normal no blue Awesome, awesome. We'll have a look at our taxi charts here. This is us here. We're going to come out. This is Tangle 1. We're going to make it right on to... Actually, let me get the actual proper charts over here. Tangle 1 to Tangle. We're going to go Tangle to Yankee. We're going to come down Yankee. Probably to Victor. Victor. We're going to hold short. Um, I think the Victor is for V, I'm not too sure. Could be wrong. We're gonna hold short of zero four right and uh, and then off we go. We gotta go ahead. Park break off and away we go. Once again, if you have not yet, please don't forget to like the video, and uh, if you have not, subscribe for more content. Um, you know, we do weekly weekly videos here on this channel. Depending on my work week, I'm able to post two videos per week, sometimes three. All depends on my work week. It's kind of hard for me to um, put out content during week the weekdays. I typically fly on the weekends only. But for for this specific giveaway, I wanted to post the video as soon as possible. To, uh, to get that lucky winner their gift voucher for the weekend. So don't forget, subscribe if you have not. I'm not going nowhere. We're going to see what, what, we can, what we can do with this channel. And yeah. First time flying out of Chicago Midway. I uh, usually, you know, fly... I fly the RJ a lot into O'Hare. We do, uh, from Toronto Pearson, we do operate uh, some jazz flights within the CRJ to Chicago O'Hare pretty frequently. 
a great flight. I think FS Dream Team has some scenery for Chicago O'Hare. It's better than the default stuff. Currently on Yankee, we're going to taxi down to Victor. Now, I must say, um, it's just my personal opinion, but their Ziki Design Airports, I, I, I don't think it's necessary to have vehicles moving on the ground and static aircraft and people moving inside terminals. And, you know, it's also nice to have interior modeling done in certain airports, but then again, Depending on what your you know your 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 computer can handle, it, it does affect performance. And I just seen that look like that Range Rover. I don't know if that was a follow me car or whatnot on one of the taxiways there. I don't think you know we need this kind of stuff in the simulator. It's nice to look at, but it affects performance. And if you're asking for my opinion, I could care less about that kind of stuff. I just want to see good modeling texture buildings taxiways you know that's all that i really care for don't really care for static traffic and aircraft and moving vehicles and people this is victor here we'll go ahead and put the rest of our lights on light it up like a christmas tree stuttering there see that's that's my whole point when it comes to having all this detail my goodness I could see that beautiful Chicago skyline in the background I don't think I have Chicago scenery I don't think I have uh, I think Sam scene might have done a Chicago scenery, scenery I'm not too sure but that is a very good representation at the bottom of that runway anyway throttles up to 40 percent let's get flying shall we Flex set. I haven't flown this bird in a little while, so uh, see what happens. Run up on 80 knots. 80 knots, check. Aircraft definitely pulling left here. Run up on V1 and rotate. My goodness, holy shit. Positive rate of climb. Gear going up. What the hell was that?
go ahead and start our right turn. I'm gonna go ahead. Autopilot's coming on. What the hell was that? My goodness. Throttles to the climb detent. We'll speed her up. We'll go ahead and we'll turn off runway turnoffs. And nose lights. And we'll continue on out of here. Um, we're speeding up. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to vector ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn left right heading. As we make that turn, we're going to go direct Hexu, and we're going to insert that in there. And we'll continue this turn to Pexu. There's beautiful downtown Chicago. Flaps up, disengage the ground spoilers, perfect. Speeding up, beautiful. Didn't feel like hand flying this one. Probably could have, but look, we're already in the clouds, so could care less for it. Not sure what those textures are down there, but anyway, let's see if we get a nice breakout. Looks like it's getting brighter. Should have a beautiful breakout here momentarily. Maybe not. Okay, okay. whatever there we go not bad not bad I've seen better but anyway we're up there now just approaching 10,000 feet there speeds looking good off to Nebraska Coming up on 10,000, we'll go ahead. Landing lights are coming off. Hopefully. Hello. What is going on there? Interesting. Can't do them both at the same time. Let's see here. Down. There we go. 10,000 feet. Aircraft's going to now speed up. Climbing up to flight level 340. Wing lights will come off. Continue to fly it all the way up to uh, 340. Um, yeah, we'll just continue to fly up to flight level 340, and uh, I'll catch you guys all on the descent into Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. And once again, congrats, Marcus. Please reach out to me. Looking forward to hearing from you. See you all in a bit. Peace!
welcome back everybody we are just passing 18,000 feet here that's our trans our transition level here in uh, the United States of America we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch our our um, altimeter to 3016 that is current for um, Omaha Nebraska's airport um, we are currently descending on the um, Atlantic to arrival into Omaha, Nebraska. Basically, it's um, we, we were coming from the Des Moines VOR heading out to land, and then it's basically radar vectors to final, uh, final approach. We are expecting runway uh, 14 right in Omaha, ILS runway 14 right, and we are descending down to 2,400 feet. That's where we're going to catch the glide slope and head on into the airport. Now I'm looking at the um, the terminals, uh, the gates here at the airport. We are expecting Bravo 12 uh, at Omaha, Nebraska. Bravo 12 is is the gate that we departed from back in Chicago, and you know it's pretty funny that we're actually expecting to arrive at the same gate. This aircraft did depart and arrive at these gates. It's kind of weird, but anyway, um, this is kind of the airport layout here. And uh, so far, so good. Um, we do have some some weather here in Omaha. The winds are 130 at seven, so it's not it's not too too gusty. Visibility is at 10 miles. It's overcast until 2,100 feet. So we should be cloudy um, in the soup until you know just before or just after we capture the glide slope. It's one degrees. Altimeter 3016. Everything is looking good there. Um, I do have the um, minimum decision height set in here. 1185 is the minimum decision height for runway 14 right. And I'm just going to quickly have a look at my charts here. Our missed approach altitude will be 3,000. Okay, so once we catch uh, Glide Slope, we'll set our missed approach altitude to 3,000 feet. So far, so good. Uh, it's been cloudy kind of the whole way here across the Midwest from uh, Chicago over to Omaha. Uh, this airport, I, I believe I mentioned it earlier in the video, this airport is done by Vertical Sim, and you can find their scenery at Sim Market, or I believe you can get it on Orbex, maybe you can get it on the, on the, um, the Any Scenery app, or the Any Builds website. Vertical Sim does great scenery. Performance is always great at Vertical Sim airports, so uh, I'm excited to land here. To be honest, I don't think I've flown into here. If I have, I might have done one flight. I've had this scenery for a little bit, um, but I don't typically fly out in the Midwest, so but we'll give it a shot. Nice short little video for our uh, giveaway video, and once again, congratulations to Marcus on that. Um, funny enough, uh, re while recording this video, I noticed on my YouTube channel, I have the community tab now available, which is pretty cool, so now I can communicate with uh with with my followers and my supporters um you know i do not live stream so it's kind of hard to communicate when you post just videos so excited for that i made mention that the video will be posting tomorrow uh which would be on march 11th but anyway just approaching 11,000 feet here we'll get the aircraft kind of set up for the approach i do have auto brakes set to low this aircraft is uh pretty good at Braking when when landing is kind of not it's not like the PMDG 737 where you have to set auto brake to one of the higher settings. If you do set it off to uh, BDM, you'll find that the aircraft comes to a halt pretty damn quickly. So um, approaching 10,000 feet here, I'll go ahead. I'm gonna switch on landing lights. Landing system will come on. That's your vertical guidance for your glide slope. All's looking great. Let me just verify. I have the frequency set for the ILS 14 right 110 decimal tree. That's perfect. We don't have any speed restraints. We don't have any altitude restraints. Pretty straight in approach here. We are vectoring ourselves um, on this heading here. Uh, what heading are we on? It looks like uh, could be 265. Not too sure. 15 miles out. Starting to slow down. I believe this little purple dot here is where the approach phase will kind of um, activate itself. I like to hit the button myself, so anyway. 
coming up there, everything's looking great. Picking up a little bit of wind there, as you can see, this aircraft. I find this aircraft in certain wind conditions will disable the autopilot, which can be sketchy if you step away from the flight. Sometimes you can find yourself in one of those uh, stalls. So you always gotta, you know, be on your ones and twos when flying the aircraft. No, it's showing 13 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the approach phase. Speed will come back to about 210. Green dot speed is about 210. And it should be a pretty standard approach into Omaha. Seven knots of wind is not too bad. We're probably gonna have a bit of a headwind, so uh, should be good. I'm trying out, uh, you know, different things when flying. I've I've picked up a tip where when you're you know, taking off and, and landing, and there's crosswind. You kind of want to fly into the wind, if that makes sense. And it helps stabilize um, the aircraft when 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 doing certain things. So always, you know, when it's when it's windy, always want to take off or land into the wind. Helps keep the airplane centered when using rudder. Coming up on 7,000 feet here. We still got some time. Showing about 10 miles out. I feel like we're much further than that. But we'll see what happens. Should be starting this turn momentarily. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to select the uh, localizer and approach modes. They are activated. I'm hoping the aircraft. We're on the pretty accurate VNAV descent. Look's still showing pretty high. We need to be at about 2,400 feet. I'm hoping as we turn into there that uh, this will line up pretty good. And we should get a breakout once we get about 2,100 feet. Don't forget, everybody, if you enjoy my videos, my content, don't forget to smash down that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications for more flight sim gaming content, courtesy of your boy, Lonnie. Be back in uh, Europe. I did do a flight prior to this video. I did a flight uh, about five days ago. It was a uh, a flight from Warsaw to Athens, Greece. Looking forward to posting that video. That video will come up after this video. Um, it kind of makes sense to do a giveaway video before that. Anyway, coming up on 10 miles, I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to go ahead flaps one. We'll get the aircraft rolling back. We're going to arm the ground spoilers. As we are in the clouds. Speed should be rolling back momentarily. I find this aircraft takes a little bit. To roll back the speed when you uh, engage flaps one. Localizer looks like it is capturing. Glide slope is rolling back. Everything's looking splendid. I'll try to butter this landing. It's been a while since I've flown this aircraft. I've been in the 737 and RJ aircraft, so each aircraft has its own different, you know, handling. It's kind of got to get, you know, you can't just jump back in these planes and expect to be perfect. Looks like Glide Slope and Loke is capturing. I'll go ahead and we're going to turn on the rest of our lights here. And uh, showing still about 10 miles out as we see some land coming in there. Speed is not rolling back. as it should. Continue to watch that. We'll set this to 3,000. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to pull out some of the speed brakes here. Let's get this aircraft back. We need to be below 200. Rearm ground spoilers. And we're going to go flaps two. 
about seven miles out. And I'm going to go ahead and gear down. The drag of the gear as it comes down in the Phoenix should roll back the speed pretty quickly. Still about five miles. Speed's coming back. Perfect. Rolling out flaps three. One thousand. Check. Sure, the winds are just absolutely bonkers right now. And I need the speed to continue to be rolling back. Anyway, we're going to go flaps full. We might get a little warning here. Flaps are full. Gear is down. Speed's rolling back. Everything's looking good. Showing three white, one red. I'm going to go ahead. My aircraft. And let's see if we can get this bad boy down. There we go. We're looking much stabilized now. The wind looks like it has calmed down. Uh, showing one white, three red. Glide slope mesh, uh, warnings. That's okay. Um, I think the glide slope might actually be off. To be honest with you. We'll find out. Disregard that. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. 40. 30. 20. Retard. 10. 5. We are down. Maintain center line, reverses out. Eighty knots check. And we're gonna actually cut off on this runway here. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. But we did it. Perfect. And we're actually going to continue taxi up straight here. And we're going to hit Delta. And we're going to hang off Delta. And from Delta, we're going to hit... Um, Looks like Foxtrot to the ramp. Not a bad landing. I'm going to have to play that one back. Looks like it might have been a little bit firmer than usual. But, uh, you know, my personal opinion, it looked like glide slope in the aircraft looked a little messed up compared to the Pappy, so. Uh, we're looking for gate 12. That's where we said we were going. No follow me, we'll go ahead and request that. Uh, United Airlines, that's us. Flaps will be coming up. Roll back the ground spoilers. And we're gonna go ahead, and start up the APU. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hang a left over here. This would be box trot, box trot 3. We're going to, go to make a left here into the apron. We're going to look for Bravo 12 gates. Again, that is where this aircraft last arrived at.
should be on the other side of this turn. APU is available. Perfect. Okay. Figure out a figure out how to remove that kind of stuff out of the simulator. Our gates should be right over there. Perfect. I'm around here. Make sure we do not blow by Bravo 12. Um, there's 13. So we've got a marshaler there, but we're actually going to go right there. Now, I'm not going to follow the GSX marshaller. Um, I'm noticing aircrafts are always short. Bravo 12, he's flagging us down. Aircraft is always short with using the marshaller. So I'm going to make sure we're going to go up to the line. Come up here. Somewhere up here. See how it showed short? That's okay. We'll keep coming up. Parking brake on, APU bleed is coming on, engines are off, and we're going to request deboarding. Deboarding requested. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Omaha. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. We'll keep the uh, hand around here. Right anyway. Once again, I just want to thank everybody for coming out and watching the video here. Um, I'm, I'm deciding whether or not we're going to do some live streaming. I'd like to get some of that done. Maybe set up a face cam and all that in the yo cam. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. Uh, don't forget to smash down that like button. Subscribe if you have not to, um, you know, to watch some more of my videos. And once again, congratulations to Marcus. Marcus. Do not forget uh, to reach out to me. You can find my email in my abouts column in my YouTube channel. Send me an email. Snap a picture of your YouTube dashboard just so I know it is you. Let me know if your simulator version is PC or Xbox. And if it's Xbox, we'll try to work something out to get you whatever we can for the Xbox stuff. And... Um, yeah, if I don't respond to you right away, give me about uh, 24 hours or so. I should respond fairly right away. And I, I am expecting to hear from you within 24 hours of this video. 
Now, if I don't, uh, if I don't hear back in a certain time frame, we're gonna have to re-roll the giveaway, and we'll have to do that in the next video. But um, you know, look out uh, for any any news on my community tab, and, and we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, enjoy everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll catch y'all in a bit. Take care, everybody. See ya.